Good morning, planet Earth. You know what it is, man. I hope you woke up with the joy God filled up inside you, man. You know, just happy to be alive like I am every day because it is a blessing. And uh, yeah, we have CJ the champ. Yeah, he is gracing our screens yet again in January of the January of 2024. 2024. This is his first video, I believe. So he'll be talking about, you know, that scumbag Mahito. So let's give him one final shout out uh, with the CJ video with him being the most diabolical curse ever to be seen on screens. Let's get it. Bro turned his army to a king and thinking he's Samus, started spamming the shit out of Gear Third, and then they get in the elevator and he tries to catch the gun. Hey yo, what the f***? Greetings once again, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all back to the asylum. Our very Someone special place for the make of cockeyes and the mentally insane. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, today we have a He could make a game, like a, a young game. I don't know if you thought, right if you thought about making a game before, but you can make a game, man. Right? Like one of those indie games that people be playing, you know? Insane. And if you hate this snippet, I don't blame you. Patient 002. Mahito. Now, before we start, I have made Now, question. Is Mahito the most... Uh, did he become the most hated villain in, uh, throughout the whole decade, the, the past decade? Or, uh, you know, just give me your top five, like, each one of your top five most hated villains of the decade in the comment section. Yeah. Change Someone's got a pose or something. The asylum. Now on the sanity meter, let's get active in the poses. System. There are now ten. And if they commit one of these certain actions that is listed, the meter will go up to how much the action is worth. Mm. And now with that out the way, it is time to commence rehabilitation. <laughs> Chapter one. The Junpei, toes, right? the fool. Mm. Poor old little Junpei. A very tragic tale, to be honest. Now, as we can see, this dude is getting his ass beat by some bullies. And why they beating his ass, you may ask? Simple. They was trying to impress a bitch. Really, nigga? Some mid at that. Look at her strong ass face, nigga. Oh, sharp ass chin, bitch built like. The nigga chin. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> sorry ass teacher just watching the student getting his ass beat like. Oh, shit, that ain't my problem. <laughs> it's lunchtime, nigga. Uh -huh. So they end up beating his ass and posting it on Instagram, clowning him, because obviously these dudes is trying to run a train on them tracks. But later on after this, Junpei goes to the movies to skip school. And while he's at the movie, what do you know? The three stooges are there yapping their ass off with their goddamn cell phone in the goddamn theater. That fucking bright ass cell phone like, turn that shit the fuck off. And then they hear yapping like, yo man, I think she's going to let us hit, bro. But out of nowhere, this dirty ass nigga hops up right behind them and says, Oh my gosh, you guys are so rude. Did you read the disclaimer? No cell your devices allowed. And this man uses his special disgusting ass technique. I don't yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been meaning to say this for a while, bruh. This, this boy's technique is horrendous. It's horrendous, man. It's stuff of nightmares, bruh. Damn. Ration. Or what I like to call it. Cheese touch. I don't know. The first dude look like he got a pair of testicles on his head. The second nigga looking like Roger from American Dad. And the third dude, I don't know, bro, just gave him a big ass forehead. Right off the bat, bro. This nigga's a level two right out the gate. And you know what? For putting his dirty ass unwashed hands on another man's face? That's unhinged behavior at a half. So after <laughs> Junpei just witnessed a triple homicide, Junpei thought to himself, Oh my god, I just witnessed a whole serial killer. But he did kill my bullies. And that was kind of cool. I think I'm gonna go follow him. So this dumb ass nigga decides to follow Bo down a dark alley. Like, bro, are you dumb? Nigga just witnessed a triple homicide and said, I'm gonna mean, follow the killer. But no, this know, is what we start to so that bullying man does something man to you like is. psychologically man. Says, ah you can see me yes i see you want to learn the dark arts yes 
And obviously, since Junpei is basically having a terrible life right now, he's like, yeah, teach me what you just did, bro. So Mahito takes him back to his evil lair in the sewers. And he just starts teaching him about cursed spirits and cursed energy. And is obviously just manipulating and taking advantage of a kid with Man, a Man, the way um season two came out with all these cursed techniques and reverse cursed techniques and everything, it made me feel like I have to go back to literally this specific episode just to be in the same class as this boy, bruh. Damn, I got lost for a couple of six. I'm not fronting you, man. Like shitty mental state. I was, right now. I was so lost. Then later on, right? One day, he ends up hearing something down the tunnel, and while he's looking down at Mahito, pops in his face, and he tells him, "You hear it, don't you, boy? My experiment, sir. Would you care to take a look?" So he takes him back here, and he shows him this big ass. And tells him, now you see my young boy, this is Big Bertha. She was a fat bitch I found on the side of the road. Oh. So I wonder, <laughs> could I make her even uh, bigger? But I hope Biscuit doesn't find out about you no, posting that, bruh. Then this guy says, you see that little turd you're holding in your hand? That was a midget named Eduardo. And I mean, he was already a midget, so I wanted to see if I could make him even smaller. <laughs> this thing is trash. <laughs> this man is disgusting. He is out here doing human experimentation. And what makes it worse, these people are technically still alive. Yeah. This is straight unhinged behavior. Like, this nigga is a different type of His sick. whole he is existence like is unhinged. So right later on after this, Nanami uh, ends up bad. finding Mahito's hideout and wastes no time. He pulls a machete on this ugly bastard. So he ends up chopping off his hand. But just look at this nasty nigga. Bro's just twirling around his hand like helicopter helicopter so then he fixes his hand pulls out more of his cursed turds and just starts shooting them at him they got the damn gum gum fruit and this next part is just terrible look at this nanami standing on the thing and the cursed turd starts talking and saying <laughs> Just <laughs> remind me because that these Wait, people where do you find these memes, bro? Got turned into Plato. So then Mahito rushes him and hits him with the dose of the cheese touch. He didn't look at him back up. This nigga got horse legs. Blood turned into a stallion. Ah, more. Ah. He had Nanami on his heels. He was like, uh uh, hell no. So Mahito ends up hitting him off this ledge and gives us a nice, good daily dose of zest. Because why are his toes out? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Dog, who, who, who animated this scene? This nigga got his stinky ass, nasty ass toes out and everything. Straight diabolical. So Nanami cuts off Bro's foot, tells him, put on some shoes, you dirty ass nigga. <laughs> and Bro said, I'm making a strategic retreat, my nigga, because you stink. And just drops a bunch of debris on him. And then after the fight, look at this nasty bastard. This nigga turned into a fucking worm. Like, bro, what is that? Nigga built like the Alaskan boom worm. So after the fight with Nanami, tragedy occurs with yours truly behind it. So Junpei and Itadori end up becoming pretty good friends. Shit, Itadori's even at his house sharing a meal with him and his mom. But after Itadori leaves, one of Sukuna's fingers appear at his house in front of his mama. And well, uh... Someone Hello. behind her was looking real hungry. <laughs> the next morning, his mama's corpse is discovered, and half of the body is bit off from the waist down. And well, <laughs> guess who probably set this shit up? Oh, you guessed it! Ta da! This motherfucker! This man planted one of Sukuna's fingers in his house and got his mama killed. And guess what? It wasn't just Mahito. Ghetto has some shit to do with this as well. These scheming ass niggas. But no, here's the crazy part. After his mom's death, Mahito starts talking to him and saying, Oh man, I'm so sorry about your mom, bro. Obviously somebody set you up with this finger. Do you know anybody that was a jujutsu sorcerer that was probably in your house last night having dinner? Man, this is taking me back, bro. This is taking me back, bro. I got quiet for a second. Damn. Damn. All right, okay. <laughs> is this nigga serious? Sick ass nigga, bro. Yeah, man. man, he's out here trying to set each Dory up, bro. Diabolical ass nigga. And I have. <laughs> So later on after this, Mahito and Geto end up going to Junpei's high school and they end up casting a veil and Junpei walks in looking like a school you know who and he starts to beat the shit out of one of his bullies because he thinks that he paid Yuji to set him up. 
Oh man, the way he manipulated this kid is horrible. So for like a good five minutes, Itadori and Junpei have a little squabble. So after they're done with their little friendly squabble and Itadori uses talk no jutsu, Mahito comes from the stairs and he's like, Hey, how's it going guys? Are you guys done f***ing around yet? And Bro uses gear third and hits Itadori on the wall. So Junpei's like, huh, what's going on? Mahito, stop this. You're not a bad person. Stop the cap. <laughs> No man, this whole show, you know, specifically this specifically this episode, right? Like, really take your time to learn about other people's characters before you befriend them. You understand? Before you become close to them, you understand? Like, take your time. Study that person, man. The way you, the way you could, you, the way you can study yourself. Study the next person you finna chill with, bro. Cause this might be your outcome if you ignore all the signs. They finally comes to a senses. Mahito comes behind them and tells them, uh, "Kids these days, y'all little niggas will believe anything now, won't you? You, my friend, are a fool." <laughs> Nigga turned him into a fusion of Puma, Barney, and a fucking crocodile. Mm. And this is just sad, bro. Mm. Look at him hanging on for dear life. Mm. Itadori, help me. I was a dumbass. Mm. And tragically, Junpei dies. This motherfucker is sick, bro. We're not even through chapter one. And this nigga is already halfway. Oh, oh, this nigga is sick. Bro took advantage of a bullied kid and said, I'm going to use you as my little plaything. Yeah. So after this, bro, Mahito gets his ass whooped and very rightfully so. Niggas like, oh my God, is my nose bleeding? And he's doing his whooping his ass. Look at him grab his own noodle arm. Bro said, sit your dumb ass down with that bootleg ass gum gum fruit, nigga. Shit, even Nanami came in. Bro said, let me get some licks on this. You know, this is where the jumping you know, season know, started, bro. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> some turds and say but then look at this glorious scene and they just start jumping mm. the shit out of mm. this nigga and then just look at him mm. like mm. Oh. Mm. and he just hitting him like bow 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 take that pussy nigga bro was getting his ass mm. so bad he had to panic oh bro press Q and said domain expansion so he ends up trapping Nanami in here in this musty ass domain expansion but here comes the MC coming to save the day and then we know what happened next big dog said get your dirty ass on my face nigga and dropped the damn patchy to pop Pirate patch face bum and bro knew he was cooked so he had to turn into cell when he was about to blow up the earth and pop like a balloon to make his retreat Bruh. and then just look at this musted dusted dirty son of a bitch just sitting in these damn sewers like <sighs> that was fun niggas thought that little bum ass boy was gonna join the main cast <laughs> psych mm. chapter two a bloody halloween now, before we even get to the Halloween night, we have to observe the casualty before that night. And that is none other than Mechamaru. Now, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. The man went out like a G. I mean, he pulled out a whole fucking neck. Dude pulled up in the Ava and blew all his dirty ass across the country. And look, he wasn't even done. Mahito came back for some more just to get hit with the left and sink flying. But sadly for Mechamaru, even though his mecha was cool, he had to get reminded that he was just a side character. Yeah. So he turns up killing him. And what makes this sad? This man just got his body back from being crippled for his entire life. And he was about to meet his shorty with his actual self. And that's it. <laughs> so after that first incident, yeah, that's tough. later on that night, we see this dirty bastard again, about to mm. commit his most horrid act of all time. So Itadori ends up finding this lady that looks absolutely traumatized and is in a vegetable state. So we ask her, hey, uh, everything good? Oh, the monsters. Everybody turns to monsters. That's face nigga. Then she ends up turning into Megamind and just falls over and dies. And then Itadori ends up realizing, oh God, we're cooked. Five minutes later. Oh, 
trying to find you, man. Let me out of here, man. Hey, Pimpa Ray, we're saved. Come on, man, move. Get another trailer. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our first <laughs> Question, who do you think is more sinister? Dio from Jojo's, Jojo's Bizarre Adventures or Mahito? Between the two, I just want to know something. So who releases all these transfigured humans and chaos just has suits? This is not just in the train station. Look at this, it's everywhere. The outside is literally just hell on earth. This is into a sign, all I hear just is hate. Mm. And somebody right here getting their ass just tooted. Whoever was the person that got transfigured right here, that brother must have been starving. <laughs> and there are just bodies mm. everywhere. Mm. Dude. And who do all these kills belong to? And guess who? Your favorite dirty mustard patch face son of a bitch. Diabolical bastard, I'll tell you that. Yep. And now, ladies and gentlemen, since Mahito has hit the almighty level 10, any action committed from this point on will now count as bonus stars. The more diabolical shit he does, the more stars he gets. And trust me, he gon' need them. Because later on, we end up seeing a crippled Nanami. <sighs> And this man looks cooked. Literally half his body is burnt off. And so while he's fighting for his life against like a million something transfigured humans, you can tell that he's on his last stand because it's showing shots of him on the beach. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. As soon as we all saw that, yeah, it was, it was down, man. It's you. Oh, once you see your dreams, man. You know, I will never forget the day that you jumped me. Jesus Christ. This sick fuck just blew this man's body up right in front of Itadori. Mm. So now it's time for the final battle. The traumatized 15 year old versus the patch faced bastard. I forgot he was 15! He gets Damn! He gets sent flying and he's got a fat ass scar on his head now. And I can tell the figurine companies are going crazy right now. Yeah. They're like, ooh, new character design just dropped. That's a Funko Pop. And look at him for a swing. Man made the cut even deeper. Gotta make sure that new character design's so then this is where Mahito does some more sick shit. So Itadori asks him how you can play with innocent people's lives like this. And he smiles at him and turns his head into Junpei. And look at his trolling. Yeah, you can't save your friend, huh? Yeah. Stupid nigga. This is just disgusting, bro. Absolutely unhinged behavior right here. In this whole fight, he was That's just being diabolical. Now. Bro turned his army into a cannon thinking he's Samus. Started spitting the shit out of Gear 3. And then they get in the elevator and he tries to catch the nigga. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Like, dog, that's harassment. Back the fuck up. But nah, what he does right here is horrible. Itadorians are finding these two dudes and they like, hey man, you better get over here. There's monsters everywhere. So Itadori's like, listen guys, you gotta get out of here. And he gets a punch in the mouth. Hell no. He was hiding in this man's body. This is disgusting. Oh, and you didn't think it could get worse? If you think bruh, this is disgusting, bruh, man, watch a movie called <laughs> No One Lives, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 bro. I do not care what anybody says. This is the worst death of this entire series. I have to know what's going on inside this man's head right now. Like, why did you have to do this? This man must have watched that one isekai reincarnated as a sword and said, hmm, let me see if I could do that. And this man still wasn't like, killing the innocents. Look at him. Blood said, Point, this man's entire arsenal is just using innocent human beings. Look at him, he even made this man think it's full of flashbang, bro. So Mahito's about to kill him. The bro ends up getting blasted from the inside out. Because yeah. apparently, dude had him double the whole time. That was fighting Nobara, and she hit that boy with the band hammer. So while he's basically stunned, Itadori fucks off on bro. I'm talking like Tekken combo type shit. Like this man mm. literally could not move. Mm. Look at him, he even grabbed mm. him and threw him on the wall. And look at him hit the finisher. So after this man got juggled on the wall and hit with the nastiest combo of the decade, he was like, no, no, I cannot go out like this. So this man turned into some despicable mean minions and decided to make his great escape just to do some more horrendous shit. Yeah. So he ends up running into his double. And guess who was chasing behind that other double? Yeah. 
ass, so y'all probably know where this is going. Bro wipes his nasty ass hands on no balls face and gives her the cheese touch. And you knew it was over for her because they did a whole 20 minute back. Of course, of course. <laughs> well, that's how you know she was cut. Yeah. And yeah, man. Shit went <laughs> Man, I don't even want to talk about this shit no more, bro. It's damn shitty, fucked hard bastard. See, look, now I'm at the point that I'm just saying shit. Like, this man is put Eda Dory through, like, years of pain in the amount of 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, he's literally putting everybody that he knows in a pack. And look at yeah. this fuck nigga. Bro, it's a black flash. Now it's not his nose. Look at him beating his ass and telling him, hey, what the fuck do you think this is, nigga? This man Itadori was cooked. But when all hope seemed lost and you in a dark place, there is you one. You gotta have that so one brother, man. Yes, yeah, brother. So yeah. bro, Toto pulled up and said, I'm gonna need you to back up, little bro. Out here fucking with my brother. But then he told Itadori, get your ass up, little bro. What the fuck the big booty hoes gonna think of your ass if you on your knees, nigga? Mm. But then Mahito ends up attacking him. But dog clapped and kicked the shit out of his ass. And said, I'm gonna need you to back up. Me and my brother is trying to have a sentimental <laughs> moment. So a tall and big booty loving tag team champions was ready to defend their title against Patchy the Bum. And they did not waste no time. They started kicking this nigga. It got to the point where Mahito got desperate and had to do some more hellacious shit. And what do I mean by that? Turning two more people in the swords, dog. <laughs> Get it, okay. <laughs> At this point, bro, this man is a walking definition Damn. of diabolical. Like, he's just doing shit just because. So they had to get his mm. ass up on out of here. Toto had to hit this man with this plus ultra looking ass black flash. Mm. Get his musty ass flying. You could probably smell his must wash Shibuya. So Mahito said, out of hell with this. And puked out a shitload of doom turds to send them all the way up to the surface. And then each door came in for the fucking pig just to get grabbed and thrown him into the crater. And then this nasty ass boy decided to risk it all. So he tries to do a 0.2 second domain expansion and got some hands coming out of his mouth and shit with his hot ass breath. And before he activated, he needed permission from Sukuna. He was like, hey man, I just want to make sure I'm not touching you, big bro. And gives Toto's hand every single disease that he has. So he had to chop that shit off. He was like, nah, nigga, I'm FTD free. So then Mahito's gonna chase him with a black flash. But Toto ate it with the power of his parasocial relationship with Tanaka-chan. Like, shit, I guess this is the inside look of the mind of a tier 3 Twitch sub. Well, don't tell him something if I beat this nigga ass, she gonna let me hit it? Then each door tags in and shoot off his dirty ass for like 30 yards. So now Mahito was on his last legs. So out of pure desperation, this man turned himself into a freezer-looking ass <laughs> transformation. Or a set, come at me, monkey. And he started eating everything. His body just made out of steel. Luke Cage-ass nigga. And he picks him up. And slams his ass. And he done beat the hell out of Itadori. Look, his mouth even slid open. So they both go in for a final swing. But Mahito's body ends up fucking out. And it was finally over for this sick fuck. Dodo makes Itadori swap places and blasts his dog. And look at this pathetic son of a bitch. He <laughs> got some more turns and ended up realizing. That was personal. That was personal. You could hear it in his voice. And then Itadori just stands over and tells him, You are a worthless, bitch ass nigga. Your life literally is as valuable as a summer end. Mm. You serve no purpose in life. Mm. You should kill yourself now. Mm. <laughs> And then he runs into Ghetto, and bro gets hit with the whole ass princess in the frog myth. I just need a little more time. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest though, it wasn't that intri- like it wasn't that satisfying for me how he went down, bro. That's not nah. this bitch for eternity with a whopping level 10 with over eight stars. Mm. This bastard does not need to ever see the light of day ever again. Mm. So get comfortable, you dirty diabolical son of a bitch. Cause you will spend eternity in the deepest, darkest pits in the asylum. You sick fuck. Mm. Well, yeah, that was it, man. Yeah, yeah. He's just, he's, he's just calm. There's nothing more to say about him, man. He's just, he, he had his time. He did his scummy things. 
and then he got what was owed to him. Uh, yeah. But we all know the next coming seasons are gonna be dope though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah man, that is it. Uh I hope you have a nice time. You know, uh, bless you, bless all of you, and uh I hope to see you next time. Subscribe, man. 